Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I'm back here at Scott Harvey Kia in Ewing, New Jersey to check out another new Sportage that they just got in. This is a 2023 Sportage X-Pro. This is the second highest level trim available. The only higher trim level is the X-Pro Prestige. So we'll see what this brings. Previous video on the Sportage, we did the base LX with very little options. This one's got more extra goodies. So let's see what it's all about. Right off the bat, front end, looking great as usual with this massive redesign on the Sportage. We have gloss black tiger nose grill, fully functional top and bottom. The new Kia badge on top looking good. We have LED lighting all around the car. Headlights, daytime running lights, fog lights, brake lights, you name it, it's LED. And overall looking good on the front end. Wheel and tire package, we have still have the 17 inch wheel that we had on the base LX. That hasn't changed on this X-Pro. Now you can option larger wheels, but the X-Pro trim comes with this satin black 17 inch wheel. 235 65s on all four corners. So again, we have a larger sidewall. Now these are wrapped with all terrain tires as this X-Pro trim is trying to get you more off road than the standard trims do. We'll see how Kia does with, with that as we go through the car. Standard brakes and rotors here, but overall a nice package. We do have the flat black around the wheel arches. I don't know, second highest level trim. I might like to see this painted rather than flat black, but it's very similar to what we see on, this, on the uh, Sorento and the Telluride. All right, as we come down the side of this beautiful ebony black Sportage, we, as you can see, we are color matched on the side view mirrors, LED turn signals, color matched on the front and rear doors. We have our fuel filler cap on the left. Up on the roof, we are color matched shark fin antenna, and you have your panoramic sunroof as well. All right, coming around to the back of the car, as you can tell, no rear wiper on the bottom of the rear glass. They have tucked it up underneath that rear spoiler so it will swoop down and clean off the window and then go back up out of sight, cleans the whole area up, as well as protects that rear wiper from the elements in the winter and from car washes that might damage it. As we move down, we got your ebony black, the nice Kia badge, Sportage badge on the left, your X-Pro badge on the right. We got flat black here on the bottom, as well as the bottom area. The exhaust is tucked up underneath. We do have this design here, which reminds me of some fake venting, which I don't like. I wish they would just smooth that out or do something different in design that didn't make it look like it was a vent that wasn't there. All right, engine time. All 2023 Sportages come with the same power plant, a 2.5 liter naturally aspirated four cylinder engine making 187 horsepower, MPGs 23 in the city, 28 on the highway, 25 combined, minimum octane rating of 87, which means you can run this car on regular unleaded gasoline. All right, so we're in the Sportage X-Pro. And before we get started with the interior, how much does something like this cost? Well, the way this car is optioned, MSRP $36,420. So let's see what you get. Starting with the foot box, we have a nice large dead pedal, just rubber, no aluminum finish, but we do have aluminum finish on the brake and accelerator. I'd like to see that over on the, uh, the dead pedal as well. Seats. Electric assist on the driver's side. Unfortunately, a, a manual assist on the passenger side. I'd like to see electric assist on both sides in the X-Pro. We have nice leather seating, nice black stitching. Very, very nice. Nice bolstering, not too uh, stiff. No embossed X-Pro on the headrests. I think at this level of trim, I would like some kind of X-Pro embossing on the, the, at least the front seat headrests. I think that would be a nice, a nice touch. Now we go to the door panel and the door panel is finished nicer. You have soft touch material up top. You have the brushed aluminum finish 
on the door handle. I like that, that natural faux wood finish around the door handle and not the gloss black. I think it gives us a nice, breaks up the color and also gives us a nice looking finish. And of course, no fingerprints. However, we do have a lot of gloss black plastic around the switch gear and we do have an armrest that is semi-soft. Moving over to the dash, we have this nice design across the, the, uh, the dash here for your vents, for your heating and cooling. I like the, how, they how they did that. We have that nice faux wood finish here. And then on the glove box down below, nice and large to hold a lot of stuff. Infotainment system. <clears throat> We have a larger 12.3 inch display in the Sportage. Touchscreen, nicely done. We, again, we have that dual panel look, so you can have your map on one side and other information that you select on the other side, with, which I think is pretty cool. Down below here, we have our digital screen for your map and nav and radio and setup, as well as if you hit this button here, it then switches over to your uh, auto climate uh, settings, which is uh, a nice touch. Um, however, you do have to make sure you know which menu you're on, especially when you're driving, you'll have to either push this one to go to your radio and uh, media setup or your nav setup or the fan button to go back to your climate control. Down below, we have a 12 volt, two USBs, wireless charging, which is a nice touch. We have our gear shift here to go through this eight speed automatic transmission. You have your engine start stop button here. You have your heated seats, three stage heated seats for the driver and the passenger and a heated steering wheel, which is a nice touch. However, on this trim, the X-Pro, there are no ventilated seats. You have to go to the X-Pro Prestige to get ventilated seats. Not sure how I feel about that. This is a pretty high level trim and I think I would like to see this come with ventilated seats or at least give you the option to uh, option it in if you order uh, one of these. As we move down the center cluster, we have the uh, center diff lock, which is nice, and then your drive modes that you can select from normal, sport, smart, and snow. You have your hill descent control, auto brake hold. This is to turn off the auto stop start, if you're annoyed by that. Turning off your parking sensors, and then of course your rear view camera. Here's the rear view camera. It is nice and clear with trajectory. We do have our rear sensing over here, but no 360 uh, on this trim. We also have two cup holders here. And what I like about this is you can use this as a, a larger tray for something. And then when you wanna put a cup in it, you can hit this button and then these pop out. And now you're gonna have more secure uh, area to put your actual cups in. So I think that's a pretty cool little feature with these buttons. Then we have our center armrest. Not soft at all. This thing is pretty hard. Um, I wish they would have made this a little bit softer. And as you open it up, you have an area for storage underneath. All right, here is the key fob, the, the old Kia detonator style key fob with your lock button, unlock, Open the rear tailgate, panic button, and your remote start. Very solid, but not too heavy. Very nice. A steering wheel, pretty standard looking Kia steering wheel. It's a nice leather wrap steering wheel. The Kia badge, aluminum trim ring around that, some aluminum finish on the bottom of the wheel to break up all the flat black, which I think is a nice touch. You have your controls over here for your phone and um, voice commands. And over on this side is your cruise control, as well as your lane keep assist and other uh, safety feature controls here. Okay, on our left stalk, we have our uh, settings for our headlights and our fog lights. And on the right stalk on this side, you have your settings for your front wiper and your rear wiper. Lower left side of the dash, 
we have our button to brighten or dim the digital display as well as a press and hold for your rear tailgate to turn traction control off and this is your emergency brake that you can pull off. As we move to our digital dash on the new 2023 Sportage, very, very nice looking dash, 12.3 inches on this side as well. And as you can see, as we move through the different modes, the dash will change and give you a different look, which I just think is so cool. So well done Kia on this 12.3 inch digital dash. I really like how that looks. All right, so now I'm in the rear of the 2023 Sportage X Pro. And, you know, by lengthening the wheelbase of this SUV has given you plenty of rear space. This is big time class leading uh, rear space here. I really like how it feels. The seats are very, very comfortable. Again, this is set for my driver position. I have plenty, plenty of leg room, plenty of headroom at five foot 11. On the back door panel, the same as the front, you have your soft touch material up top, your faux wood, your brushed aluminum along the door handle. But again, you have that gloss black plastic on the switch gear, which is gonna cause problem with fingerprints, but really a nice comfortable place to be back here. Rear command center, we have our vents for heat and air. We have a tray here for some goodies, if you'd like so. And then of course, we have the USBs for the rear passengers put into the back of the front seats on the driver and on the passenger side, which is a nice touch. You also have these little hooks. So when you plug in your phone, you can wrap the cord around this and keep it away from your feet uh, so you won't step on it or possibly rip your cord out by accident. Backseat armrest, semi-soft, softer than the front one, but still not all that great. Two cup holders, pretty standard stuff. All right, rear tailgate time. To open up the rear tailgate, you can either open it with the fob from the inside of the car on the left side of the dash, or you can come back here and reach right underneath. And we have nice electric assist on the way up, which is nice. And we also have electric, electric assist on the way down and what are you greeted with class leading space like i said in my lx video this thing almost looks as big as the storage area in my telluride i know it's not but visually it looks huge plenty of room for a lot of suitcases roller bags whatever you want to put in here you lift this up you got a spare tire which is nice this one comes with the wheel locks which is a nice touch back here you have a 12 volt so in case you're going to the beach or going camping, since this is an off-road spec, you can plug in, blow some stuff up. If you wanna take these rear seats down, here is the, the latch for it and you just pull and the seat goes down, does not fold flat, unfortunately. You have to walk around to the side of the car and push them down to lock them in place. But once you do, you got even more space for a lot of your larger items uh, you know, I mean, you can put bikes in here. You can put, you know, music gear, drums, guitars, amps, whatever you want to throw in here. You can put a lot, a lot of items in here. I really like this class leading space in this Sportage. All right. We are driving the X-Pro. And we'll see how this thing lo uh, feels. Again, we have this off-road spec. And, uh... We'll see, again, these 65 series sidewall tires are a bit thick. So, again, I'm not a big fan. I would like to see a spec that has the larger wheel and the, and the, the profile that's a little bit lower. But, what I can tell you is that we have a really, really nice, easy to reach setup up here in the cockpit right i can reach all the controls very easily without adjusting my seating position at all i can uh, access the touch screen as well as everything in the center console uh, without having to adjust my position i have a very comfortable 10 and 2 hand position on the steering wheel which feels good the seats are extremely comfortable and the 
suspension is very well damped. Uh, this 2.5 liter four cylinder, <coughs> excuse me, allergy season, is really bringing uh, decent power, 187 horsepower, plenty of, of uh, horsepower in this car. Um, visibility out the front windshield is excellent. Visibility out the side glass is excellent and out the rear window is excellent. I have a large side view mirrors as well as a nice large rear view mirror to look through. So overall, very smooth, very comfortable. The steering is very direct. Again, fairly numb, but that's not surprising for an SUV that's designed to be a people hauler. Uh, or in this case, a sporty uh, off-road type package. Um, but uh, overall, very, very, very nice. So, this is kind of how I feel about the Sportage. I like the complete redesign. I think it looks markedly different than the outgoing uh, generation. And I think they did a really nice job with the design. I like the way they laid out the interior. It's very Telluride-esque in how they've appointed the interior here in the 2023 Sportage in the X-Pro. Um, I love the large digital dash as well as the, the uh, infotainment system. You know, you have 12.3 inches in front of you on the dash. You have another 12.3 inches in the infotainment system, so they've upgraded that really, really well. So I really like how it all fits together. Um, the interior design is very, very nice, very classy. Um, and so it, 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 they've really done a nice job. Now, on the X-Pro side, since this is the second highest level trim, what would I like to see? Number one, I would like to see ventilated seats or at least the ability in the X-Pro to option ventilated seats in. Uh, right now, you need to go X-Pro Prestige to get the ventilated seats in the front. I would like to see power assist for the passenger. Uh, we're at the second highest level trim, and I think power assist for the driver and the passenger is a requirement. Also, I would like you to have the ability to option in different wheels. Now, some of the trims, like the X line, which is a step down, you can option in larger wheels and a, a smaller profile tire, which I think would give you maybe a little bit firmer ride, but a little bit more, you know, ride feeling like you're in uh, an SUV rather than maybe a floaty boaty minivan or large sedan. Um, I know what they've tried to do with this off-road package uh, with these all-terrain tires, um, giving you the ability to, to take this thing off on trails. Uh, I wouldn't consider doing serious off-roading with this, but off on trails, I get the idea. But then again, I keep coming back to the fact that a Kia Sportage is not going to be an off-roader, in my view. It's going to be a, a people hauler. It's going to be something for a family, or it's going to be used for errands around town, going to school and back, uh, dropping kids off at sports practice and back, those types of things. Um, I don't see this as being bought by the off-roader community to... Um, to actually uh, use uh, as an off-road uh, SUV. But overall, a really nice package. If you look at the price, 36.4 is a competitive price for something with the amenities that this particular SUV has. I would like to thank everyone at Scott Harvey Kia for providing the channel access to this 2023 Sportage X Pro. I would also like to thank all of you for watching. And if you did enjoy the video, please give it a like. 
And please also consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell so you'll never miss another Shabby's Rides video. I'll see you guys on the rebound. Take care, everybody.